so in today's video I am going to show you how to do a halo eye slash spotlight eye and um, I asked in my last video if anyone is interested in seeing this then leave a comment below and a few of you did so yeah if you want to see how I create a halo slash spotlight eye then just keep on watching Okay, so I am going to start off with my SK04 brush and I've already prepped my eyelid. I prep my eyelid with just my concealer and it's normally two shades lighter than my natural skin tone and I'm going to go in with, I'm going to use, no actually, I'm going to use this palette here by Sosu X Kaylee Urban Bible and I'm going to go into Prophecy. Dip, 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 dip. And then I'm going to start to map out my shape. So I like to basically go good and high over my natural crease. So there's my crease here. And the reason for that is because I really want to see the, I really want to see the shadows that I'm going to be putting in the center here. So the bigger the area, the more colors you're gonna see and the more colors you can fit in. Depending on obviously what spotlight you're wanting, to, you're wanting to create, but I'm going to be going in with two to three colors in the center. So I want my spotlight good and big. You can see how big that is now. don't mind my nose contour it's like aggressive <laughs> I was practicing how to do the way like drag queens do their nose contour you know like that real snatch can't breathe and yeah this is what this is the result so okay so once you have this circle like that you're on the right track. But while I have this, this brush and the same colour out, I'm going to go and I just, what I do on the top, I create on the bottom. So I'm going to go back into Prophecy, tap the excess and then just buff it right on the waterline here. Tight to the bottom lash line. So you kind of look like you have a panda eye, so this is <laughs> the aim. I'm just building this colour up a bit more. So yeah, you should have something like this. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my favorite brush which is the my mac it's the 221s i always pick it up in the airports them days when we used to be able to travel so um now i'm gonna go in with my stacy marie and i was feeling kind of like these corally tones so i'm gonna kind of go in with sundown yeah we're going with sundown and we're just going to buff this 50% on the colour and then 50% on the skin. And this is just going to soften and blend the other colour that we first lay down. Thank you. 
and what we do to the top we do to the bottom so it's looking very extreme but like it's supposed to <laughs> tap the excess off and I'm just going to wiggle that color right on half on top of the first shade and half on my skin to really buff and soften the edges See how big it opens up the eye. Okay, once you're happy with that, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to get this brush from Fuchsia right here. It's just like a little fluffy brush. And then I'm gonna go in with, with sand right here. It's just like this really soft color. And I'm just going to go on top of the orange then that we just put down. And this is really going to soften everything up. And the other colour being sundown, sorry. See? Just going to melt everything together. And then if you want, I kind of like to always give it a little lift when I get to about here. So it's not like a circle and cut. And it still kind of elongates the eye. like so and then what I do to the top I'm just going to do to the bottom so I just slightly buff it on the bottom lash line I'm just going to marry all the colours together And then when you, if you lose any of the previous colours just from all the blending, you can go back on top and just repeat the steps again so that we don't lose any of the colours completely. Once you are happy with all your blending, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the spotlight. So why it's called a spotlight is you're basically going in and you're creating a little circle in the middle of your eye and that is called a spotlight. And how you do that is you get a, I'm gonna use this brush right here, I'm just giving it a quick spritz and it's just a flat synthetic hair brush like so. And I'm gonna go in and use this oil and it's going to help me carve out that spotlight not too much otherwise it'd be too much oil but you're basically wanting to go above your crease and remove any eyeshadow in the circle that you don't want so I'm just really going in and tidy in the middle right up with this brush So there you have it when I look down I'm hoping that you can see I just basically cleaned up the sides there and make sure you always have like a tissue just to clean any of the excess um, eyeshadow off your brush so that it doesn't get all muddy on the lid and then the next step then we're going to do is we're going to get a little brush concealer brush and I'm going to get my SK Six, uh, SK06 brush from the Kaylee brush set so it's this little one here and I'm going to get some white foundation but you can use like white concealer or anything that's just going to help create a nice light base so I'm just using this revolution I think it's F0 shade the white one and I'm going to colour my whole spotlight in white. 
Now this is tricky for me because I've lashes on so Now you should have something like this. I'm gonna set the whole white then with a white eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna go in with Veil, which is this white from the Sosu, Sosu X Kaylee Urban Bible palette. Just the Urban Bible palette, yeah. I'm gonna get it on this little dome so that it's easy to get right in there. And I'm just going to set in the center here because this is where I want it to be white. And I don't want to decrease and I'm gonna go in with the other colors that I did the hate that I did this gradient I'm gonna go in at the side now you can just color the whole lid in whatever color you want so you can just like put like a glitter in the middle here or whatever but I'm gonna do a rainbow because it's just me I like to really challenge myself so how I'm gonna go and do that is I'm gonna go in with my first color that I set down. So go back into my Urban Bible, grab Prophecy right here with this small little brush. And I'm just gonna go in the sides. Making sure to tap so I'm not getting all the fallout. And then I'm gonna go on this side. And I'm working my fade going in. Ooh, matches my nails. So I'm just gonna look down so you can see. I'm just basically putting it here and in the inner here. Okay, and then you can get another teeny tiny brush. This is gonna be the Kaylee again. Literally love these brushes. I've used them in every makeup tutorial. So yeah, definitely would recommend. So this is SK07. It's just more of a point. This actually could be a lip brush. I'm not even sure, but this is, doesn't matter. Just use it if it fits it. I'm going to go in and I'm going to go slightly on top of that 50 and 50 so 50 on the prophecy and 50 then on the white and we're going to go back in with sundown the second color we used and we're just going to go right on top here and let it fade into the white see And then do the same on the other side. Teeny tiny brushes you need. And it would help if you didn't have any lashes on. So you can just get right in there. Let me just zoom you in. So we're doing like a little rain, like a little sunset, not rainbow, sorry. And there you have it. There is a halo eye slash spotlight. So you can see where it comes from. It's literally just a spot of light in the center of the eye. Of course, you don't have to do like dark to light and then the white in the middle. You could literally just use one color in the middle. But I'm just trying to show you every way. <laughs> no. Ooh. So now I'm just going to do the other eye then off camera. So I just put mascara and eyeliner on the bottom lash line and I just want to just recap real quick. You don't need to do like this like ombre situation for a spotlight. I was just doing the mostest with that look but 
all you need is just basically sorry I'm just trying to find where the frock I put my brush oh okay yeah so you don't need to do this whole ombre situation like I was just trying to do the most with this look all you really need is flat brush like this concealer or like Vaseline, anything oily, jawline, this to cut out the little circle in the middle of your eye and that is what a spotlight is. And then you can just colour that whole spotlight in one colour. Like I said, I just was just trying to do the most with this look, okay? So now that I have that sorted, I am going to go in and I don't know why but I just love doing my glow last and I just really think it just completes the look so I'm gonna go in with this I did a review on this product and I, I said I was gonna use it so here I am using it and I'm just like putting my whole brush in the whole all the three colors because I did say it wasn't really pigmented and I'm gonna use this brush it is 101 you think I know the names of these brushes but it's 101 Zoeva these are also another brush set that I would highly recommend is the Zoeva I absolutely love their brushes and then on my nose yeah I'm actually quite proud of my really thin snatched nose that I created now I'm going to add my highlighter, so I'm just going to spritz my face. I, I don't know, I don't know why I always do that, I spray it and I just like whoosh into it. But anyways, I'm um, using my SK01 Kaylee brush again and I'm going in with Gold Ore by Melt Cosmetics. One of my favourite highlighters. This is just, look, you'll see. Ooh, um, I wanted to use gold to complement the look. Um, I also did a review on the foundation that was uh, from my affordable video, the Milani one, and I did wear it like for like 10 hours I think it was, went to bed quite late and I left it on and I was quite oily but I still really loved the foundation so I definitely will be, I definitely will be using it again and yeah like I did get quite oily around my t-zone and all and normally like when I get oily I just so I put more powder on. I did get more oilier in that foundation than I do my other foundations that I own. I can't talk. So all in all, I liked the foundation, so I'm gonna use it again. And that is it. If anyone's wondering for my lip, I just used the Kylie Jenner Ice Latte Liner and then I used Honey Love in the center of my lips. And I actually love that combo, it's a nice nude combo. So here is the final look. So I hope you guys liked that little tutorial. I hope it explained it good and it was clear for everyone to see. I know with my mink lashes, they were kind of in the way. I'm hoping that it was more in my way than in your way. And yeah, if you have any questions on the look or you want to see any other looks, like full cut creases or half cut creases, smoky eye, whatever looks, just let me know in the comments down below and I will try my best to recreate them looks for you. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you like these videos, it just lets me know that you do. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.